Zada Motakunator, back at it again with the Anime Corner. That's right guys, I'm back and we're here to discuss some anime today. So we got a few things down the uh, pipeline for today. Uh, this past weekend I actually uh, went to my local anime store. They were having an event, so I went ahead and got some film footage of them where I was able to talk to people, workers, made some new friends, all that fun stuff. And uh, yeah, it was just a good old time, so we'll get the ball rolling on that here soon. Also, something I wanted to talk about today was a review of an anime that I started recently watching called Okana. It was actually part of the uh, winter 2016 uh, lineup. And while we're on joining this uh, spring lineup, I definitely want to get my thoughts and opinions uh, out there for the uh, previous season's anime. So that's basically what I'm going to work on for the next few anime corners. So definitely look forward to that. But anyway, guys, I mean, we're definitely here to talk in anime and whatnot. So let's go ahead and get the ball rolling on that because we're here to have a good time and see what this is all about. All right, guys. Guys, so you know I definitely love anime and video games. That's why I definitely came to the store. So yeah, we have uh, one of the workers here that are willing to talk to us. So uh, can you tell me your name and uh, what you do here at Uples? My name is Marina Laredo, and I run the register. I help customers out, basically do anything that the store needs doing. Awesome. And then do you have any uh, specific video games or anime that you're very fond of that just made you want to decide to work at a place like this? Um. Well... My favorite video game ever, I think, is uh, Fallout, all of them, um, all the way back to Fallout 1 and 2. Um, I, I just, I fell in love with uh, manga in high school. I worked for a library and helped uh, order most of the anime and manga that's in the uh, current library system at uh, the Austin Public Library. But uh, ever since then, I've just been attending conventions, cosplaying, doing all of the things that normal kids do, and um, just was able to get in with this job pretty early and help out. And I love this store, it's my passion. All right, so cosplaying conventions, that's always fun. So what's like uh, some of your favorite things to cosplay as, like video game characters or anime characters? Um, well, I've actually won prizes uh, in the past. Uh, I did Andrew Wilmon from Digimon at San Japan a few years ago, and that was really fun. Um, and I've done Sea Control, uh, a couple of characters from there. Um, I guess I, I prefer doing uh, video game characters. Uh, right now I'm working on an EB costume. All right, guys, so some kind words from the workers here at Opals. But yeah, let's go ahead and start talking to some other people, other players, other anime and video game fans and keep this party going. to us a little about his favorite stuff. So Andrew, go ahead, gotta go ahead and tell us what's your favorite anime and or video game. Anime for me would probably have to be Eskriad, uh, just because of the, uh, the the cyber style of the alters, as well as the storyline and just characters itself. And video game? Video game, oh, that's a tough one. There's a, you can do top three, or top three or top five, whatever works for you. Uh, if we go by playtime, it'd probably be Heroes of the Storm. 
So big PC gamer? Yeah, uh, PC gamer. Um, well, I don't really choose very much. Uh, I stopped playing Xbox because they messed up an account for me, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then, uh, what, so what's this on your shirt here? What do we got there? Is it a Gundam? Or? Yeah, this is Gundam Epion, one of my favorite Gundams from the Gundam Wing series. Uh, dude can cut through a colony. Very nice. Yeah, we're all rocking anime shirts here, as you can tell, having a good old time. But yeah, let's go ahead and talk to some more people. So we're here with a fellow anime and video game fan, Fabian. Uh, so Fabian, tell me what kind of games or anime you like to watch or play. Uh, anime, it can go really whatever. I actually may, me, prefer to read the manga instead to really anything. And video games, I love playing Smash Brothers. Super Smash Brothers, I've played it from the 64, Melee, a bit of Brawl in Project and PM Project Melee. And right now I'm really big into the newer Smash games, Smash 4. And yeah, that's about it. For our Smash 4 for Wii U and 3DS? Uh, yeah, for 3DS, actually. Hold on. Like, I have, I have it. Yeah, I even have the limited edition Smash 3DS. And oh, wow. I actually, I actually have Smash with me right now, if you want to play. Yeah, we'll definitely, uh, we'll definitely do a match. Uh, seems like the Otakunator got an official challenge, so let's go ahead and get this bad boy rolling. Well... Big shout out to Ooples for uh, letting me go to their store, have some fun, take some pictures, take some video footage, all that fun stuff. Appreciate it, guys. But yeah, if you're in the Austin area, definitely give them a holler. They got a lot of cool stuff. I know I'm going back there at some point to buy some awesome things, and I think Gisha too. But anyway, guys, let's get on with the second part of this anime corner. Let's get to that anime review of Okan. All right. Alright guys, we're going to go ahead and start this little review of Aokana. And uh, for those of you who know already, this is about this cute girl named Asuka. As you can tell, she's a bit of an airhead and that pun is heavily intended because she's actually uh, part of a uh, flying circus team, which is a sport that uh, Future Japan apparently plays. This is the series about this, it's called Flying Circus. And as you can see, she's a bit of a klutz. Yeah, so I would definitely consider this a sports anime. I mean, it's definitely a sport we've never seen or heard of before. I mean, I won't really bug you with the details of the gameplay and how it works. That's something you'll definitely have to check out if you decide to watch this series. But basically, yeah, she joins a, a high school club team and she goes from barely knowing how to fly, like for example here, To not only challenging somebody at a game, but actually a very skilled person. She's actually uh, somebody who's really high ranking in terms of the flying circus sport itself. As you can see here, some of the, uh, they're talking about her and how the school she comes from is a powerhouse. But yeah, I mean, as you would imagine, she actually gets the floor wiped uh, when she, they actually start playing the game. However, the fact that she pulls off a super advanced move at the uh, beginning of her training, or I guess you can say her experience flying, she actually gets everybody's attention, as you can see here. Yeah. 
Word of our advanced technique actually started spreading throughout the community of the Flying Circus people, and uh, yeah, that powerhouse of a school that her challenger was from actually uh, decided to have a joint training camp with them to help them get a heck of a lot better. Uh, as you can see here, the girls actually get along quite well. I mean, a lot of uh, fan service and Yuri undertones, at least in terms of this part. I think, generally speaking, this anime is pretty serious, but it's always nice to get these every now and then. Oh, the girls do seem to get along between the schools. There's actually the tension between the national champion from the uh, rival school and the main character for this school. Uh, yeah, the tension between the boys seems to be pretty high.僕はその選手を目指して of course, like uh, any national champion, uh, Shindo, who is the uh, captain of the rival school, is actually quite interested in this team, uh, as you can see here. I mean, he's watching uh, their teammates uh, from the the main character school, you know, actually, you know, throw it down. And as you can see, he's pretty impressed with what he sees and whatnot. And then, of course, he gets uh, into a match himself. And like uh, any great warrior, of course, all they want is, you know, somebody to challenge them and actually be worth the challenge. As you can see here, uh, Mizaki and Shindo are pretty neck and neck, though Shindo still, you know, is a big powerhouse. I mean, uh, a brand new FC team is giving him a run for his money, and actually the players on that team are impressing the national champion, so that in general just seems pretty awesome. To me, the, in general, this series is very inspirational and lets me know that even though we may be starting something new, we can still kick butt at it. But yeah, hopefully you'll be able to enjoy this series as much as I do. And yeah, just check it out, see what you think. Alright guys, well, hopefully you liked that review of that one anime series and of course my little trip to the uh, anime store. I mean, I definitely recommend supporting your local anime stores if you haven't already. Of course, I mean, supporting those kind of things is what keeps this uh, genre of entertainment alive and in the stores here in the United States, so go ahead and show them love and support. But yeah, in the future I definitely plan to do a little bit more things like this, of course more conventions coming up. Uh, of course, you know, see if I can find some other anime stores out there, talk to other people. And yeah, just have a good old time. That's what we're here for. But anyway, guys, it's getting about that time for me to head on out. So again, I do appreciate you stopping by. You guys have yourself a great rest of the day, night, weekend, whatever. And, you know, have fun. Love life. Love what you do. And just keep doing it. All right. Peace.